What's up guys, I'm James, and welcome back to The Great Gambino Watch Reviews. Today, we are going to take a look at the 2020 Accutron Space View. In 1960, Accutron released the world's first fully electronic watch, and at the time, also the most accurate timepiece ever created. Jumping forward to modern time, we see the release of two new Accutron models, one being the DNA version that features a rubber strap connecting directly to the case and reducing the need for lugs, giving an overall more modern appearance. And the second one being the Space View that we have here, which is a more retro vintage inspired piece with a leather strap and traditional lug setup. This particular timepiece retails for $3,450 US dollars. Real quick, I would like to give a special thank you to Feldmar Watch Company here in Los Angeles for letting me come in and check out the Accutron Space View. No matter what type of timepiece you are looking for, Feldmar carries many high-end luxury brands that will be able to suit your needs. If you're interested in this piece or any of the other Feldmar watches I've reviewed, I will have a link down below in the description. Real quick, I'll give you some measurements. We have a width of 43.5 millimeters. Lug to lug is 50 millimeters. If you want to change out the band, it's 22 millimeters. And we have a case thickness of 16 millimeters. The crown is stamped with the Accutron tuning fork emblem, symbolizing the world's first fully electronic watch. And the piece offers 50 meters of water resistance. The Space View 2020 features a dome scratch resistant sapphire crystal, tying in with the vintage theme, and it does a pretty decent job of reducing glare from direct light, as you can see here. We have a very interesting stainless steel case that has defined separating sections, with the top portion of the lugs and case being high polished, and the protruding center that has an obvious vertical brush pattern, followed by a bottom portion that mimics the top. From a side view, the lugs curve downward to help this larger piece fit more wrists. Flipping around back, we have some information about the piece, another Accutron logo in the center, along with a turbine design surrounding the logo. There's a lot going on when it comes to the dial, and it really is the selling point of this piece. Aesthetically, you have the combination of brushed steel with green trim, a basic white hour and minute hand paired with an orange second hand offering a little bit of pop, but it's really all about the proprietary electrostatic movement of this piece that is shown off through a partially skeletonized display. I am not an expert on how it functions, but from my basic understanding, the two twin electrostatic induction generators placed at the bottom react to the physical movement of your wrist while wearing the piece. Once they are activated, they produce electricity that is sent to the accumulator, which is the copper cylinder located at the top right. From there, the accumulator transfers the energy to the induction motor placed at the top left. This induction motor then powers the handset that is responsible for that continuously smooth sweeping second hand. The strap included is a soft black leather with black stitching. On the reverse side, we have an Accutron stamped clasp that is connected with a butterfly mechanism. But let's go ahead and check out the loom. The indice markings, along with the hour and minute hand, have a light green superluminous coating that appears to be decent from my short test. But I did not have a chance to test it out over an extended period of time, so I do not know its longevity. Here is a side-by-side -side shot next to an American quarter to give you a better representation of the scale. And here's a shot of my 6.75 inch wrist. Now I will say right off the top, this is a large, somewhat bulky watch, which would normally be a turnoff for me. But I feel this particular piece gets a free pass because it is making a different kind of statement. This is a timepiece that is created for watch enthusiasts. When you are wearing a piece like this, it is not about having the perfect proportions to match with your outfit, but it is more about passion. And I feel this is a piece that is meant to be seen from afar and act as a conversation starter for those that love watches. Alright, that is going to wrap up this review of the Accutron Space View. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to subscribe and click the bell button as I am trying to grow this channel. Again, a special thank you to Feldmar Watches for letting me take a look at this piece, and I will catch you all in the next video.